darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Our next guest is a hugely talented New Zealand singer-songwriter, classical crossover artist, who's currently on her bold, brave and beautiful tour across the country. Please welcome to the cafe, Anna Hawkins. Yeah! <laughs> welcome home. You were, when you were singing just before with Holly, that was like tingles down the spine. Your voice Aww. is absolutely beautiful. Thank you. And you were just back from Europe where you um, recorded your album, Bold, Brave and Beautiful. How yes. was that experience? Oh, it was amazing. Um, so I was recording the album in Poland, actually. Wow. So, um, yeah, working with a producer there. His name is Paweł Zaretsky and... Yeah, a bunch of musicians. How and did that come around about? Yeah, well, I did, I've done a couple of albums with him. And before my first album, I met him here in New Zealand. He'd always wanted to come to New Zealand. I was singing on a friend's album, doing some backing vocals. We got to chatting. I realised that I knew of his work. And he's like this crazy guy from Poland, right, with dreadlocks. And, you know, we're just chatting. And he's telling me about these jobs that he's been doing with Inya and oh, these wow. different things oh, and oh, I'm wow. just like, what? Inya. Yeah, with this producer <laughs> and yeah. yeah, in London. And so, um, yeah, I realised I'd been admiring his work and next minute he was inviting me to come and work with him in Poland and so I just went, Heck yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want to yeah. take it right back to the start. How did you get started in this industry? Okay, so I was about seven yeah. when I, and I started singing at my local country and western club. There you go. So, yeah. Um, and, and was then, that in New Zealand? That was in New Zealand, yeah, in Morrinsville. So I'm from, oh, nice. grew up on a farm in, in the Waikato. And, um, yeah, when I was about 11, I started classical singing lessons and kind of went, went on from there. And there has been a little bit of a crossover recently, hasn't there, from the classical to this album? What was the reason for that? Yeah, well, I think, feel like I've always had eclectic tastes in music, mm. so I've got quite a broad background, and I love many different styles, but the main reason is because I've kind of gone into songwriting, so writing my own songs, and because of that, this album is like my way to experiment, to explore those songs and a fresh sound. This is the style that you like. And you sang with Paul Potts too when he was here in 2014. Yeah, I did. Yeah, toured New Zealand. What was that like? Very cool. Yeah, lots of fun. Cool cool guy. And I, I'm just in my element where I'm, I'm performing live. I just love it. And the other thing that I love about you too is that you started with country music when you were seven. You've been classically trained, clearly, and uh, you've also done quite a lot of musicals because I love musicals. Did you play Christina in The Phantom? Yes, so um, I played, I had the opportunity to play Christine in uh, Ken Hill's Phantom of the Opera in Japan. How did that work? So you, you were in Phantom of the Opera in Japan, mm. but the cast was from New Zealand and the UK? Yes, so bizarre. The director and the Phantom, Peter Straker, he was from the UK, and then we, but we rehearsed here in New Zealand. So and then we all flew over to Japan. That and must we have been spent, a great experience. Yeah, it was amazing and cool to experience Japan as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. that culture. Say. How long were you there for? We were there for about just under three weeks. And we cool. packed in loads of shows. Geez, you are mm. dominating the world at the moment, aren't oh. you? All over the place, which is fantastic. Um. <laughs> you know, when I guess you go into this, did you have a dream, an aspiration? Where did you want to end up? Because clearly you're living most of that dream now, but is there an end point where you think, OK, cool, this is where I want to be? Um, I think there's a tension. I think there's, like, being thankful for all of what life has allowed you to do, and, of course, I still want to do more performing. Mm overseas. My husband and I have just moved over to the UK so that's our intention to kind of keep performing in Europe and the UK and who knows, global domination, just keep going. Global <laughs> domination. <laughs> just, just if I get to perform. What do you, what do you prefer, <laughs> musical, uh, musicals or gigs or recording? I mean what's your favourite thing to do? Uh, well as I said, I mean I really thrive in live performance mm. and I think I love recording but when you're recording what you're trying to do is is imagine as though you're performing to a live mm. audience and having that same kind of energy. So, mm. wow. Okay. So you didn't really answer. Didn't I didn't answer favorite. you. No. <laughs> I like them all. I think. Yeah. I like them all. Answer. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, and I like you doing all those different genres as yeah. well. What an absolutely beautiful voice. I know you've had a few nights of your tour here in New Zealand already, yes. and Anna's bold, brave, and beautiful New Zealand tour is on right now. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. Yeah, really appreciate it. Thanks. She'll be in Hamilton on Friday night and making her way down south. For tour details, go to eventfinder.co.nz. Thank you so much, Anna.